woman um, who uh, had been a prostitute, and then she gets him hooked up with this officer, and he starts, she starts giving him favors, sexual favors. This goes on for a number of years. She ultimately wants to end this, you know, uh, and so what she did, she collected some DNA. Uh, she collected this DNA, and she brings it to me like this. <laughs> So I then take the DNA like that, and I take it to the department and says, I think you need to look into this. Well, it turns out he, he denies it, but once we do the DNA, it, you know, he, he admits it, and we ultimately, um, uh, he ultimately was fired. <coughs> uh, we've had other cases where particularly officers will ask young girls to, to do certain things. With them. The sexual assault cases that are, that are there uh, um, that you, you, have, you have to be mindful of sexual uh, assault. I, I think the big issue here is, from the police department's point of view, you really cannot ignore this, because if there, if it's going on, and you then are told about it, and you fail to take action, then you develop what we call a, a potentially a Manel action down below, which is making an official policy of deliberate indifference. And so it's important that you get no, the department gets notice uh, of 